since you've asked for it. Today, in a simple and clear way, I'm going to show you how to sell put options for income. I'm also going to share with you when is the right time to sell a put option and exactly how much cash you can make by selling put options. And if you like an extra bonus, stay tuned until the very end where I'm going to share with you how being an option trader gives you special abilities to not only put awesome cash into your pocket, but it also allows you to legally manipulate the trades that you're currently in. It's almost like playing a game in which you're allowed to change the rules to make the rules more advantageous for you during the middle of the game. Hello everyone, welcome back to My Life of Learning. My name is Randy Perez. Please know that I am not a financial advisor and this video is not meant to be any kind of investment advice. I am, however, a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. Selling put options is my absolute favorite way to generate income in the stock market. On a consistent basis, we generate over $10,000 a month from option and stock trading. The majority of that money comes from selling put options. Before we get started, I just ask one thing of you. Please hit the like button to support this channel. I'm about to give you some really awesome information I know you're going to find great benefit in. So if you appreciate the kind of material that I provide for you on this channel, please support it by hitting the thumbs up like button. Let's get started. First, and very briefly, when you sell a put option, you're selling the person that bought the option from you the right, but not the obligation, to put that stock into your account at any time through expiration day. For that risk or insurance, you're paid what's called an option premium. The trade I want to talk through with you is in Walgreens. Here you see the trade we did on January 6th. As you can see in the orange rectangle, on January 6th, we sold to open a total of six contracts and received $1.27 per share, as you can see in the red box. These were contracts that expired in a month and a half on February 19th. If we ended up staying in this position until expiration, which was 45 days away, we would have generated a 26.3% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return. If you run the potential return on margin for that same time period in this trade, as you can see here, the margin requirement was $2,770, so we were set to make a 233.5% annualized return on margin. Before I get into how this trade turned out, I want to show you why I entered this trade to help you get an idea of when is the right time to sell put options for income. Here you see on the left, the daily chart of Walgreens, and on the right, the weekly chart. Let's start with the daily chart. One of the reasons why I felt comfortable selling put options at Walgreens at this point was that as you can see where the white arrow is, Walgreens have been making higher highs and higher lows over the previous several months. In addition to that, it had been finding really nice support at the green 50 moving average. And then on top of all of that, it had just broke out above the red 200 moving average on the daily chart. If you look down at the volume section, you see that trading volume had been around 5 million shares per day over the previous several weeks. But on the most recent green up days, the volume was around 7.5 million, even up to about 10 million. This told us that there were starting to be a lot of buyers for Walgreens, and their excitement to own this stock was increasing. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I also like looking at multiple time frames to make sure I'm entering a high probability trade. So the question is, did the weekly chart support my theory that Walgreens was setting up for a bullish trade? Notice on the right chart, the weekly chart, that Walgreens was beginning to look bullish. It had recently made a higher low and it was just starting to break out to make a higher high. I also like that it was trading above the green 50 moving average, which had served as resistance for it over the previous couple years. So it had finally broke through that green 50 moving average resistance on the weekly chart. If you look down at the volume section in the yellow rectangle, you see that over the previous several months, the pressure seemed to be more on the buy side and buyers were showing great excitement to accumulate shares of Walgreens. All these factors made me feel good about placing a bullish trade in Walgreens using options. That's why I sold the February 19th $40 put options. In all, we sold six contracts. They sold for $1.27 per share. So we were able to pocket right at $760 total for this trade. Well, how did it turn out? Let's fast forward about a week to January 13th. Here you see that Walgreens did exactly what we expected it to do. It took off and reached a high of right at $50 per share. However, as you can see by the candlesticks up top, there was starting to be some selling pressure in Walgreens. Then if you look down at the volume in the bottom section, you see that volume was decreasing. And in fact, the volume bars had actually turned red, 
which meant that sentiment in Walgreens had shifted from bullish to neutral or maybe even bearish. Because of this, we decided to go ahead and close this position out. As you see here, on January 13th, we bought to close those put options for 24 cents per share. In all, we netted right at $1.03 per share or $618 total. We're in this trade for seven days. This trade paid us a non-leveraged annualized cash on cash return of 133%. The return on the margin requirement of $2,770 was actually over 1100% annualized. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just shared with you, then I would love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button and thank you very much for doing that. If you'd like to receive alerts as soon as we make trades similar to the trade that I just talked through, consider the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. Since you stay tuned in until now, I'm going to give you an awesome bonus you can use when it comes to put options. Selling put options can not only put awesome cash flow into your pocket every single month, but they can also allow you to manipulate positions that you're in. It's almost like you're allowed to change the rules of the game right in the middle of the game to suit your needs. Here's our position that I spoke about many times over the past year in Disney. It's a poor man's cover call position with an additional naked call option. Starting at the top, you see that we own the January of 2023 110 leap call option. We've been selling call options against this position. At the second line, you see that we sold a January 2022 150 call option back when we first entered this position in March of 2020. Since we entered this Disney Leap position about a year ago, we've also been selling near shorter term call options against it. Everything is going on quite nicely. Disney was gradually increasing and we were slowly rolling our near term short call option up and out in time. The longer term short leap call option we sold at 150 was still well out of the money. However, all that changed in early November. At that point, Disney went from $128 per share to where it's trading at today, right around $200 per share. It's been on absolute rocket fuel. The challenge with our position is that we are short two call options and only long one leap call option. So we are naked one call option. Now we've been expecting Disney to come back down and fill the gaps it made around $130, $160, but so far it hasn't done that. So here's how we can use put options to change the rules of the game in this position. Here you see the trade we did a couple days ago. Starting at the top in the red rectangle, you see that we bought to close the near term 145 call option that expires on March 19th. That cost us $44.69 per share. We simultaneously sold to open the April 16th 150 call option for $40.82 per share. So we rolled that short near term call option up by $5. Now, if we had only done those two trades, we would have been out of pocket $3.87. Well, we don't want that. Here you see how we changed the rules of the game using put options. In the gold rectangle, you see that in order to cover the cost of rolling that short call option up by $5, we sold to open the April 16th $175 put option. For that, we received $4.87 per share. In the purple rectangle at the bottom right, you see that we did these three trades for a net of $1 per share in our pocket or $100. So not only did we pay for this trade, but we also rolled the short call option strike price up by $5. Now, why would I feel comfortable selling this put option to Disney at $175? Let's go back to our charts and I'll show you why. Here on the left chart, the daily chart, you see that the white arrow up top, that's approximately where we sold our 175 put option. Disney had a few down days, so we took advantage of that to sell that put option. I like selling the 175 strike put option for several reasons. First, it gave us enough cash to roll our call option strike price up by $5. Also allowed us to sell a put option below the previous low on the daily chart, which was around 180. Coincidentally, that 180 price is right at the green 50 moving average. So if Disney does come down, it should at least momentarily, if not for the long term, find support around that 180 area. Also notice down the volume section on the daily chart where the white arrow is pointed down, that there was declining pressure from the sellers on the red down days. If you look over at the weekly chart on the right, you again see that around the 175 area, Disney should find support, at least temporarily, because that's where the previous lows have been. And of course, if you look down at the bottom section on the weekly chart, you see there's been tremendous buying pressure in Disney ever since November. As you have seen, selling put options can not only put awesome cash into your pocket, but it can also allow you to change the rules of the game to fit your current situation, just like we did here with Disney. If you'd like to see how much you can make on a monthly basis by selling put options, check out the video series in the link above and the description below entitled Option Trading Monthly Cash Flows. 
In those videos, I show you exactly how much money we made the previous month by selling put and covered call options, as well as collecting a few dividends. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.